Hey guys, what about a basement tour? Hey guys, what's going on? So recently I was asked about kind of a basement tour of some of the beers I actually have down here. Now you may have been thinking I was going to have some type of shelving unit or something like that. I mentioned in a past video, I don't usually shelve just because I've seen a lot of shelves that fall over from the weight of things. So I actually keep things down here in boxes. So you can see the boxes here, total of eight boxes of different things that are here from various beers. Go ahead and take a look at some of these in here. Now, actually I track everything through a program on my iPhone called Seller, and that keeps everything up to speed and current for me. So I know what kind of things I need to move forward and take a look for when I come down here. But as you can see here, totally filled with this box of stuff and need to start getting some of it out, but the fridge is pretty full right now. So some of the stuff that you might see in here, this is actually a Spanish beer I picked up recently. It is Monsigny, uh Malavita, and it is actually a Imperial Stout, which I get the label here in the neck for you if I get the camera right. Imperial Stout aged in brandy barrels. And this one comes in at 11.5% ABV. So kind of an interesting take on that one. Uh, also here is one of the two 2017 uh, Bourbon County Stouts I have down here somewhere. Got some other things in here. The um, This is the Rumpkin from Avery Brewing. And this one actually comes in at 17 and a half percent ABV. So that one has a nice little kick to it. I uh, need to get some of these beers out at some point, but these are ones that can last a little bit longer. Uh, here's Founders and the Founders Porter. What else do I have in this box here? Uh, People's Porter. This is actually a beer I picked up on a road trip to West Virginia. So I haven't had that as of yet. Looking forward to see what that may have to offer. Have the Elysian Night Owl Pumpkin Ale. Haven't tried that before either. Picked up a four packet of Mendocino Imperial Stout because Mendocino is actually shutting their doors. So figured why not pick it up as a collector's item. Um, here we have Great Lakes, their Ohio City Oatmeal Stout. Uh, let's see what else, anything interesting in this box. Flying Dog, Imperial Porter, the Gonzo. This one should be pretty interesting too. Uh, I forgot what the ABV is on this one. This is a 9.2%, so that'll be an interesting beer. And doo -doo 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 -doo. this one here is the Pumpkin, which is KY as you can see there. And this one has an ABV 18.8%. So. That'll be a nice one to actually drink on. So that's kind of one of the box here. Uh, you can see here the Founders Breakfast Stout as well that I have in this one. And then as I screwed around, here's one here. Of another box of stuff that I still need to go through. We'll take a look here. This is one of our local breweries. And it was a collab between Rheingeist and Quaff Brothers. It is a Grand Cru which is a barrel aged Belgian style double ale. This is one I picked up recently as well, Dogfish Head. And this is the red and white. And this is actually one done in barrels and also with grapes. What is this here? Another local from Braxton Brewin. As you can see right there, this is a Kentucky barrel aged sour. Anything else I wanna show here? This is one actually I received from my buddy Todd, the Fox and the Hunted Coffee. And this is a coffee stout as well. And some different ones, including one of the home brews that Todd sent me. And this one I'm actually letting sit for about another few days, probably three or four days. And that's actually supposed to be a clone of Zombie Dust. So I'll be doing a comparison between the Zombie Dust and that clone, uh, hopefully later this week. Here's one with a neat looking can. This is Devil's. Uh, Conclave and kind of a wicked looking can on that one there. But again, this is another stout as well. We'll close that back off. And obviously, we are keeping stuff down here. 
a goal was to keep it out of the sunlight, right? So no sun, have to worry about that, getting into any of the boxes. Uh, here's another one here with some different things. Let's see what's in this box. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera here, but it's uh, hard with just one hand. And I've got a few of this stuff around here. Here is one from the brewery to row. Uh, I'll see Prairie Rue. And this one is a farmhouse ale fermented oak barrels as well. This right here is a uh, Guza Lambic. So I probably want to get this one in a little bit earlier. But just haven't had a chance to with so much stuff going on. Brewery Ama Gang. And this is their Abbey Ale Double. So a nice big bottle on that one there. Anything else down here kind of sticks out. Here's the Bells. Araba Cadabra. So I've seen a lot of people talking about that one. We'll give that a review at some point as well. Uh, Dogfish Head. The Indian Brown Dark IPA. So this one can actually sit for a little bit, but I'll get that done. So that's like just through about three of the boxes here. All in all, in general, probably have over 100 plus beers in here. Most are in the cellar. Some are upstairs in the fridge, which takes up the full bottom rack. Here's a neat one here was a collab. So we heavy between heavy seas and our local mad tree. So this is one I'm looking forward to trying at some point. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. The Belgian style barista, the chocolate quad, nice dessert beer. So I got that down here. Got a little more three Floyds with the Alpha Claws right there as well. Christmas Porter. It's this one here. Trip in the Woods, Barrel Age Series. And this is the Ginger Bigfoot. So looking forward to trying that one. Just a pretty much a good amount of beers. Here's the other 2017 Goose Island. Close that down. Let's see what else we got around here. Anything that might be pretty interesting. Over here, got a little bit more. And this one has a few more of the uh, Hamanacinis. And this one is actually, get that there, the blue one, which is their Imperial Stout, but this one is aged in bourbon barrels. So this one comes in at an ABV also of 11% ABV. And then I got it here, of course, 1050 barrel aged. Imperial Stout. Finally was able to find one of those around my area. That took a little bit of time and tracking down. And I got a Lagunitas Imperial Stout, which is probably one of the better valued stouts you can actually get out there in the marketplace. Quaff Brothers and their Wee Honey Wee Heavy Ale. This one actually comes in at 11%. Uh, so I have a few of those to deal with here. Let's see what else is back over here. So this one is actually one that's pretty jam-packed. And we got Stillwater with their Nothing But Bunny. A couple of those sitting right there. Also got the uh, Terrapin, the Muhu uh, there as well. What's this? So you're in the Jungle Baby. So that's Evil Twin, Jackie O's. Then down here, you can see those founders. Those are backward bastard ales. Right here is two Xmas, which I haven't done yet. Spice Double L and the Imperial Biscotti Break down in here as well. A couple more, I believe, back here. Got the five beans from Six Point, and gotta have a little bit of Jesus. So I got even more Jesus somewhere around here. Is a Cocoa Jesus. Um, never gonna have too much Jesus. This was actually a four pack of one of our locals. 66 Pearl, and this is a barrel aged Belgian ale. Uh, I think it's a Belgian ale, bourbon barrel aged. I'm sorry, Belgian style golden ale. This one comes in at 15%. So, four of those at the 15 level. A few other beers. 
Back over here, we got a little bit more. Here's a little against the grain. They're 35K. Uh, got a little Abita down here from out of Louisiana. Some of the things they have on their beers. Uh, right here is another Heavy Seas, and this is the Greater Pumpkin Ale. So, as you can see, a lot of this stuff happening. Still got the socket tuning from uh, Laguanitas right here, too. And then over here, <laughs> even more. These are like all kind of big bottles as well that you can see. This here is one called from Apocalypse Brew Works, one of their beers. Over here, you got one of the Trader Joe's specialties, Audacity, which is an Abbey style blonde ale. Also got another Rheingeist here, which is their Chester, which is a cherry St. John ale. Uh, Uintal and their birthday suit, sour cherry blonde ale. What else is over here? Not your father's root beer, which is at the 10.75% uh, or whatever. There's another Bourbon Street series of Beta Honey Pale Ale. So, a lot of good things down throughout here. This is the one I even forgot about. Harmony Foretold Cucumber White, uh, sorry, Cucumber Wheat Ale. So, that's kind of the tour of some of the beers I have around here. More in the fridge. Mostly everything in the fridge is mostly Pale Ales right now. Or some type of specialty lighter type beer but a lot of different beers a lot of drinking to do at some point and uh as i get them done i'll bring you the reviews but thanks for checking out another video as always please remember to like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and look forward to sharing more of these things with you over time thanks for watching and remember there's always time get your beer on and keep drinking those good craft beers cheers